Okay, this next stage we're going to be doing is Pride More Keep. Um, now, I'm very specifically staying out of this stage because the first screen in this game, um, it's pretty important that you do it basically perfectly so that you can hit a cycle at the end of the screen. Um, so I'm going to come into the stage and I'm going to show you how to do the first screen perfectly. So you come into the stage again, you want to, to jump as soon as you start out, and then just hold right, basically. Bounce off of this guy doesn't matter. You want to bounce off of this guy, get on, onto this ledge, hit that first dirt block and slash, and then just keep on going. And I did it right there, and as you saw, I got past um, that second lava pot without getting hit by it and entirely holding right. So that's a pretty important thing, um, thing to note. If you do that screen perfectly, um, and if you do that screen perfectly, then you'll hit it. And again, important thing to note, you do have to jump, or you do have to bounce off that second beetle, land onto the platform, and then jump and hit the dirt blocks. Only hit one of the dirt blocks. Um, just hit it, slash, and then keep on going. Um, if you think that you won't make it, you can turn around a little bit and then damage boost off of it so that you kind of bounce back and you just, like, kind of make up for it a little bit. But it is best if you, if you do it right. Um, this next scream, come up here and bounce off of that lava pot so you uh, get that damage boost to get up here. Um, if you do the scream fast enough, you can technically um, get past here without having to damage boost off the lava pot before it even bounces, but um, I don't honestly don't know even know how to do that. It's, and it's not really that big of a deal. Um, an important thing to note that I did there, uh, these rats are completely random. Like Their movement is entirely random. They can decide to go whichever the hell way they want it you really have no way of affecting it. Um, so we kind of went a little bit lower there, so after I came through there, I did bounce on him so he wouldn't get in the way. Um, normally, if once you hit this dirt block, if he's high up enough, then if you're close enough to the dirt block, then you will just hit him, hit, hit the rat as well as the dirt block. So it's an important thing to note that um, you don't have to swing twice to hit the rat. You will hit the rat along with the dirt block if you time it right. Um, and the rat RNG is actually a problem here. If he goes too low, um, there, that first rat, if he goes too low the first time he moves, he will be a problem and you won't be able to get past. Um, also, another thing that's important to note that I did was you bounce off of the right side of this wizard, um, like right there, and then you'll bounce, you'll hit the ceiling that's right here, and then bounce off of the beetle, and then come right up here. Um, if you bounce on the left side of him, then you uh, will just slam into this wall, so you don't want to do that. Another important thing to note in this stage is we're going to be breaking all of the checkpoints. The fastest way to break checkpoints, uh, as far as I know, is just come up and hit it, uh, jump hit three times with the shovel, you know, twice in the first jump and then another time on the third one, and then just grab the ruby uh, in the middle, or whatever it is, uh, the gem in the middle, rather. Um, and ones like this, where there's just rocks around it, where they're only worth one apiece, it's not really a big deal if you miss, um, if you actually miss, like, getting all of the rocks, but in some later levels when we're going to start seeing higher higher value gems in the checkpoints, uh, you'll want to try and grab as many of the gems as you can. Uh, epic duel with this guy. Again, if you get close enough to him, he'll always put his shield up. Um, even if he doesn't, he'll only just slash forward and you can go past him. So it's not a big deal. Uh, this guy, it is important you can get past this guy uh, without like exiting this little hallway. Like You just have to bounce on him at the right time. Uh, this is the next checkpoint. You want to break this. Um, important thing about this room, since these chandeliers are falling whenever you get near them, you want to kind of just do short hops, especially on that one above the spike pit. Because if you do any more than a short hop, you're, you'll probably run into the chandelier, and they do a, heart, a whole heart of damage and really hurt. And then jump on top of that last one, it's fine. There's usually a beetle here, I don't know where he went. Uh, also, um, going down platforms, you want to just come onto the platform and then press X to, or uh, ladder I mean. You want to just come onto the ladder and then press X to drop off of it. Next, you'll come over to the left here, not the not the uh, actual path, but you want to come up to the left here and grab this, um, go into this door, because we're we, uh, you need to go get the flare wand because it's arguably, I'd say the second best item in the game probably. Um, so go buy it. Uh, important thing again, when you come up to the chest, uh, you want to kind of be in the center of it and then swing your shovel. Um, that way, you eliminate any time to have to like hit it and then move. You just, as soon as you hit it, you basically enter, enter the chest. Um, and then, grab the flare wand, leave the room. Uh, remember uh, entering and exiting that room to jump to get your uh, momentum to the full so you don't have to accelerate. 
Um, if you hit this right, I wouldn't recommend like going too out of your way for it. But um, if you hit that, uh, you can kind of hit that um, that uh, platter there uh, while you're jumping up. Um, I want to kind of get it here, just like like that, and it doesn't really waste too much time getting it. I want to get it here because um, there's a faster way to do this part right here, um, and that is to turn around here. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, well, you want to turn around and bounce off of his fireballs backwards, so you want to be facing to the left, so then you bounce to the right uh, off the fireball. Um, if you only have one heart and you don't want to get that platter, uh, if you time it right, you can jump, so you just narrowly avoid his fireballs, and then just hit the griffin's face. Um, it is a pretty tight jump, you would have to get used to the timing. Um, but if, if you only have one heart, then that's the best thing to do. Uh, as far as these rats go, you can kind of bounce off these first ones. I wouldn't recommend bouncing off these ones, though. Um, you can bounce off the first two and then just go past the second one. Um, but if you miss that and just bounce off the uh, off the third one, I mean, uh, if you do miss that and bounce off the third one, then you will end up losing a lot of time. So I just like to shoot the flare wand at them. Um, also, there's the platter with the apple right here. I, I grab that if um, usually, um, even if you get the the platter three screens before, um, just because it, it's nice. Come down here, this room, hit this chandelier, just damage boost off that guy, and then go to the left here, or to the right, rather. Bounce off this knight. Oh, I kind of missed that, but you're supposed to, after you bounce off him, you kind of want to jump off the edge of the dirt there. Jump up here, bounce off the book. Oh, that was actually something to note. Um, all the gems in that, besides the one that was 200 in that checkpoint there, were worth um, 10 gold each. So, it is actually a little bit more significant to get all of those. If you miss a few of them, again, it's not really a big deal, but um, you might put a little bit more care into getting them. This room is fun because you can you stop here and then basically one other time in the whole room, um, based on the lava cycles. And then you kind of stop for a little bit here and then just go. Um, it's another thing, on both of the ones that I stopped at, I jumped right before the lava fell. Um, so that I could go past it before, like, the lava just gone past me earlier. So I could just, I got past the lava earlier than I normally would. Also, if you really want to, King Knight is in two screens here, and you will take a half a heart of damage in the next screen. Um, so you can grab this chicken here if you really want it. And then you come up here, uh, bounce off this guy. And this checkpoint is, there's no good way of getting it, really, just because of the low ceiling. But anyway, that's probably more keep. Um... It's a, a simple stage, it's really not that difficult, but it is easy to mess up. You can There's a lot of bottomless pits that you can very easily just fall into and lose your whole run uh, if you're at that point where you would reset here. Um, but anyway, that's probably more key.